All right, let's get to it. These are five must-have applications on your phone for your clinical rotations, because I promise you they will help a lot. So before we get started, hi everyone, my name is Prerak. I love making videos on productivity, medicine, and um, business. So just wanted to tell you a bit about myself. I do an MD, MBA here at Yale. I'm about to graduate next year, and I have a lot of interest in both medical education, podcasting, and entrepreneurship. So I hope you find this video helpful. All right, so here is the agenda for today. I'm gonna to be going over four applications and then a couple bonus applications at the end that I think you'll be finding quite helpful. I'm gonna link the time notes where I discuss each of these applications also in the description below as well as links to the applications themselves. Most of these applications are free, uh, so let's get to it. The first and most important application is called MDCalc. This is the most important application that you can download primarily because it has everything you could possibly need. For anyone who has been in the hospital, you'll know that the hospital uses a lot of scores. So there's things called the Wells score, there's the Glasgow Coma score, there's just so many things that you need to score. And sometimes you often need a calculator to do it. And so this MD Calc does a great job of condensing these important facets of clinical medicine and giving you a way to calculate them. If you don't already have it, I strongly recommend you download it because one, it's free, and two, you will inevitably be asked to calculate something, some sort of score, whether that's in surgery, OBGYN, uh, internal medicine, or even psychiatry. There are so many scores and MDCalc does a great way of condensing everything and bringing it together. The next application that I wanna talk about is Visual DX. Again, I believe that this application is free. It's linked in the description. And this is essentially very useful for various aspects of dermatology. Dermatology is an important field but interestingly enough, you probably won't have a whole clinical rotation on it because dermatology often spans through all of the fields. What do I mean by that? People with neurology may have dermatology issues. People with uh, who are in your internal medicine service may have dermatology issues. People who, who are in your surgical service may have a rash. So oftentimes, Visual DX can be very good because it provides a, <laughs> I like the picture, it provides a great insight into the different types of rashes that you can encounter, but it also provides a great way for you to associate pictures with diagnoses because before you may not actually have seen any of these things and this is a great way to kind of put things together. The third most uh, important application here is actually AMBOSS. So AMBOSS is a very popular question bank. It's kind of like USMLE RX or Kaplan or even UWorld. However, the thing about AMBOSS that is very novel and unique is even if you just sign up for an account, I believe you get access to the library of information that is in AMBOSS. That often includes you know, the definition of a diagnosis, the test that you need to use to, to often work up a diagnosis, working up different types of differential diagnoses such as chest pain. Um, so I remember that a lot of my classmates really enjoyed AMBOSS, primarily because AMBOSS gave a holistic overview. And believe it or not, they often do it a bit better because AMBOSS is an app for medical students. So sometimes they often give you what you need to know. They'll give you the parts that are relevant for USMLE Step 1, Step 2 CK. And again, I told you, this part of AMBOSS, I believe, is free. The question bank costs money, but this part in and of itself is free. So I strongly recommend you download it because it can be a great way for you to say like, oh my god, I don't remember Wagner's granulomatosis. And if you had a patient with that condition, it's a great way to refresh your memory and uh, more importantly, get very, very good insights into potentially what might be coming up for uh, step one and step two. Um, all right, the fourth and last app before I go into the bonus applications that will be very relevant for your clinical rotations is actually called CDC Opioid. Uh, and the, it's a mobile app. It's released by the CDC. And one thing that's very important is that opioids are medications that are intended to um, decrease pain. And guess what? There's a lot of pain in medicine. There's a lot of chronic pain in medicine. And so a lot of these patients are uh, sometimes taking opiates because they um, need to be treated for this pain. The dosing of these medications can be very um, different because some are very low dose, some are very high dose. And it's important for you to at least get a glimpse of it. You're not expected to know everything, but it is cool when you can go up to your psychiatrist uh, mentor and say, hey, I, I found this app. This is what I'm using. What do you think about it? 
Or even if you know the difference between, like, what's the dosing difference between morphine and oxycodone? What's the difference between these different types of opiates? How do you convert between one medication and the next? This application does a great job. It's by the CDC. It will make you look like a star on your clinical rotation. So with that, those were the four applications I strongly recommend you download. MDCalc, right? Uh, MDCalc, Visual DX. Uh, the third one is Amboss. And the fourth one is CDC. Uh, and all of these are free. They will help you a lot. Uh, and now I'm going to go into the bonus applications. The reason why these are bonus applications is because oftentimes they are not free. You often need to work with your school to create a way to, for you to access these. But assuming you can, these will really make you stand out. So first one is Anki. And of course, you guys may know me from my Anki videos. The reason I say Anki is really important is I use the search function on my Anki primarily because Anki can help uh, me remember a lot of concepts and sometimes if I forget something I can look it up in my Anki and see if I had made flashcards on a topic before and then it'll really refresh my memory. The second one is up to date. Up to date is essentially Wikipedia for doctors because it includes a lot of the aspects that doctors reference and oftentimes if you don't know something um, your mentor may actually say like why don't you go look it up on up to date and having it on your phone can be very helpful. The reason why this is a bonus app is because up to date is often not free and if your um, institution does not give you access to it, you may not have access to it. Dynamed is similar to up to date. It's just a different form of getting clinical information. And last but not least is Epic. So if you guys are at an institution that uses Epic, I strongly, strongly, strongly encourage you to reach out to your clinical coordinator or clinical clerkship director and ask them to get Canto or Haiku. These are essentially versions of Epic that work on your iPad. And I had a nice little iPad mini for my clinical rotations and I would keep it in my pocket and it made it so easy to reference my patient's charts, their meds, um, and it was a game changer. It really helped me stand out. So with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These are, these are apps that will make your life significantly easier when you're on clinical rotations. And so let me know what you think. Uh, and if you have other ones that work for you, uh, drop them below and I will definitely make sure I include them in the next presentation I make like this. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.